Hello, everyone. Glad to have you back after this long weekend. So nice to see everyone joining. Okay, so good morning. Welcome to our Mind the Moments Tuesday morning gathering brought to you by Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare and Tufts Health Plan. This is a place where we invite experienced mindfulness instructors to speak with us about what mindfulness means to them and to discuss as a community how we can incorporate these practices into our daily lives. I'm Suzanne Rowe Palacino, and miracle of miracles, we have Mary Star Green back with us this morning, two times within a, a month or so, which is wonderful. So happy to see you this morning, Mary. Welcome. Wonderful to be back. I'm not sure I'd say miracle, but it's a <laughs> to be back and to have this time with everybody and you. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, so nice to see you this morning and nice to be together after a long weekend. And uh, we know many times it's, uh, it's, uh, it's hard to get going on these Mondays after a long holiday weekend, but we're happy to be together to you know, come together, meditate and, and start our day together. So today we'll uh, start off a quest with a question for the group as we always do. And then Mary will uh, say a few words and then lead us in a 12 minute guided meditation practice. And I say guided, we'll, um, she'll add some guidance along the way, but also provide some time of quiet time in between just to uh, have both of those modalities uh, available to us so we can get used to that, especially folks that are new. And then after that, we'll have time for any questions or comments. So if you go to the bottom of your Zoom screen and open up the chat, and once you open up the chat, you'll see the blue drop-down menu that says hosts and panelists, <clears throat> and you can click on that, change it to everyone, and folks can see your comments. And that is that part of the housekeeping. So with that, Mary, what question do you want to pose to the group this morning? Mm -hmm. It's a simple question with probably not a simple answer, um, but it's about acceptance. And so the question I have for everybody is, what does acceptance look like for you? And more of kind of a personal, in your personal experience in daily life and practice. Okay, yeah. Simple, but in, uh, profound, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Um... You know, it, it comes in different levels for me. Um, I've got a life circumstance that's going on that's just been a difficult one to to go through. And it's I've noticed that accepting different stages of that has been easier at times than others. Uh, sometimes it's just been very difficult. So that, that's one that I think about. But also I, also, I think about seeing my neighbor's landscapers show up just as I'm about to start a meditation <laughs> webinar. <laughs> so that, that can be, a, that can be showing up for me too. So that's why I'm with that question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's wonderful. Cause we were sharing just the same kind of experience of that leaf blower and the response to that mm -hmm. um, was for me, not a lot of acceptance. Um, but yeah, I, I think for me, when I hear the term acceptance or, or I always sort of thought it meant being okay, you know, really being okay with the way things are when it really didn't feel that way. So sort of trying to push it, force it or um, otherwise, you know, I think, and I'm also dealing with a, a family situation. that's a little tricky, a little complicated and, and um and noticing sort of the waves that I have that it might be called acceptance where just, you know, letting it be as it is. Um, and then really wanting to take the reins in a way that it is not, it's things are not in my control. So I noticed that and, um, you know, we can call that pain really, but um, yeah. But then those moments of, of really being able to be exactly with, with, how things are for this family member and my reactions to that. I think there are, as you said, I'm saying waves, but it sounds Suzanne, like you've had a similar kind of experience of 
uh, of a dynamic, you know, response in terms of acceptance. I see mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of um, really nice, rich responses coming in. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, when you mentioned the family situations, those can be so, you know, those can have so many layers to them. So I understand that for sure. And being, yeah. mm -hmm. Amina says, being happy and, and content the way things are and knowing that it'll pass. Um, that is that is a, a very helpful way to think. I like that, you know. Mm. It means to trust that there is a purpose to all experiences. Mm. Taking life on life's terms, not my own. Not controlling what can't be controlled. Comfort and appreciation of life, others, and myself. Mm. Yeah. Ignoring something I can't accept or understand. Yes. Acceptance helps conserve my energy because I'm not resisting and battling. Definitely. Surrender prayer. Mm -hmm. Exactly. These are really wonderful, amazing, powerful in the right circumstances, but also a challenge to distinguish between acceptance and giving up on something. I'm with, I'm with you on that, Tammy. And, you know, does it mean I have to just give into this? Um, and let it roll over me. And that can be a, a tricky uh, misconception, I think, of really what acceptance um, mm. is, but it's it's a common, it's, it's, it's commonly what we do think um, about it um, because acceptance in my, my experience does not feel like a passive thing. Um, and it's really just an, an intention. And I'm thinking more about those times that are, because, you know, life situations come in all shapes and sizes and flavors. And this, the small ones <laughs> give me a lot of good exercise and just noticing, okay, in this moment, um, how am I relating to this? And, and having an intention to do as we're saying here, you know, can I control this? well, I'm sitting in traffic. I got caught in traffic. You can't deny that. Um, and just seeing, I think, you know, seeing the level of resistance and or the tension that we or that I can create around a moment that's kind of like, that's not quite as I'd have it. Um, but, uh, you know, mindfulness practice gives us that opportunity. <laughs> every moment um, that we're sitting um, and then every moment in our daily living when we choose to meet it with that sense of what does it mean now to be completely um, fully embrace this moment, this situation, um, this issue, you know, accepting it fully and accepting my responses to it, which include the difficult thoughts and emotions and um, and everything that goes with that, you know, on a, on a smaller scale, but sometimes can still create those big responses or like that leaf blower or the traffic or driving for 40 minutes, all of which I've done these last days to this restaurant with friends and realizing it was closed. And so mm -hmm. it's like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, there's all that kind of work around that, but it's like, Hey, you know what? That's it's life. It's, it's already done. The moment's done. And, um, there we go. We just noticed that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, also I think about the big things going on in the world and how, you know, because of the fact that we might accept that they've happened, it doesn't mean we're not going to work to change. You know, some of the you know, the racial reckoning that's happening, that's happened over the last number of years, and the, the changes in our in our cultural response to that and other big things. Um, it, it doesn't always mean that we don't do something about it; that we just accept it and and 
you know, not, not do what's right. So, yes, yes. And it can be accepting the complexity of the situation and accepting that there is no easy answer and, you know, accepting that every voice and opinion and thought matters and yet knowing we're part of a bigger collective. So, um, you know, what can I do in this moment in, in my own little sphere? Right. Yeah, it's part of acceptance. Yeah. Yeah, and making that choice. So how about we do some practice? Sounds good. Um, I think as Suzanne said, about, about 12 minutes, I'll do some guiding and do some quiet. So just settle in, sitting, standing. You might just take a few deeper breaths, kind of these cleansing breaths, this fresh moment. You're welcome to soften your gaze or close your eyes. Or you're welcome to keep them open and just let them settle softly on a single point. In this moment of settling in, knowing that we are inclining the body and mind to come together this very moment. You might be aware of the sounds coming and going, pleasant or unpleasant, welcomed or unwelcomed, there they are. Just simply letting the sound be there, letting it come to you. We can tune attention from sound into the body, our best barometer for how it's going, body and mind. We're just feeling the solid form of the body, your presence here. Any sensations that you're aware of, the sensations of coming and going of the breath. Places maybe of ease and maybe places that are a little bit trickier in your embodied position. Having some awareness and kindness in the moment for what it's like to be embodied right now. practice invites us to, to settle in, to tune in, perhaps to the body, the breath, the sense of the connection to the floor or the chair. And of course, the mind does what it does. With kindness, we redirect. Can we just be with this moment as it is? with the mind as it is, with the body as it is, emotions and thoughts, just as they are. Continuing in this way, each unfolding moment, inviting a sense of Open curiosity, accepting each moment just as it is.
in this final time for our formal practice together. Holding the intention, intention as we are asked to do, invited to do, of meeting each moment fresh, the body as it is, this mind and heart, emotions and thoughts as they are. Knowing this human experience encompasses this whole wide range. And life gives us all kinds of chances to work with the many shapes and flavors of um, acceptance. But the feeling um, that we can come back into this space, but I'm going to be sharing poems. So you may just kind of settle in with the eyes closed. But it's from Dana Falls, who has this wonderful um, poem called Allow about the freedom of acceptance and really the resistance that is part of the process many times. She says, there is no controlling life. Try corralling a lightning bolt, containing a tornado, dam a stream, and it will create a new channel. Resist and the tide will sweep you off your feet. Allow and grace will carry you to higher ground. The only safety lies in letting it all in, the wild and the weak, fear, fantasies, failures, and success. When loss rips off the doors of the heart or sadness veils your vision with despair, practice becomes simply bearing the truth. In the choice to let go of your known way of being, the whole world is revealed to your new eyes. So that's Dana Falls. And so we can, so we're ready, sort of, the eyes are still closed. Bring them open, kind of reconnect in a way of the external world, sense of your body being here and all of us together. Thank you for your practice. Thank you so much, Mary. You are so welcome. I am just such a pleasure to be with everybody. And if perhaps there was just that little bit more to say, clarity on this whole thing for acceptance, a big dose of self-compassion, because you know, it's this no, no, no is not always so easy to um, untangle even for those little things like the leaf blower. So it's just like, you know, okay, this is how it is right now. This is my, this is how it is. Hmm. Yeah, so um, that's Dana Falls. The poem is Allow. Can I guess I can write that in, yeah. Um, it's called Allow. I believe it's from her book called Go In and In, but I, mm -hmm. I might be wrong on that. But yeah, Suzanne's can yeah, it is. agreeing with that. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. It's a good one. <laughs> and Sheila, I like what you shared as well. It's okay to say, I don't like this and to trust that a higher power would will take care of it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's so many ways that, that we can approach yeah. that. And from the spiritual standpoint, however that sits for you, I think that's mm -hmm. that can be a wonderful way to think of things that the universe has a certain way of coming back into balance and you know balance isn't always what we want it to be but it it does come back to a, a place of you know where we learn and and can um, find a new way to be yeah for sure yes um i think you might have shared that with just hosts and panelists. Oh, sorry. Okay, everyone. Sorry. Oh, I, I did I didn't that. Get yep. It to everybody. That was me. To everyone. Yep. Sorry. Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. Sorry, didn't see that in there. Yep. So Dana Falls is the author. Allow is the name of the poem. Yeah. The other thing I was thinking about as well is something that I shared on Facebook this morning um, from 
Henry Wadsworth Longfellow that says, the best thing one can do when it is raining is let it rain. You know, how simple and, and actually, you know, it's nothing yeah. we can really do about stopping the rain, can we? Yeah. So uh, that's wonderful. I'll carry that into this sunny day. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. So any, any other um, comments folks might have about the practice or uh, any other opportunity, anything that you've been listening to or reading that has been um, something you'd like to share with the group, please go ahead and do that. This is a good time where we've been able to share that kind of, yeah. Nice to be back after a busy summer with the kids. Yeah, I'm sure if they're back in school or wherever they are, um, it's nice to have them, but it's also nice to have your own time, right? So, well, it's nice to be with everyone this morning and, and happy to be back practicing together. And we will be here for the balance of the week tomorrow at 8.30, as well as Thursday at 8.30. So um, we hope that you're able to join during the rest of this short week. So keeping our practice going and um, look forward to seeing you either tomorrow or Thursday. Thank you so much for being with us this morning, Mary, and sharing this very important theme as we begin the rest of our week. My pleasure. And thank you, everybody, again. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So we'll see everyone soon. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.